Okay, here's a new and improved version of the Blues Licks. Reminder of the Blues Scale. C, E flat, F, G, uh, F, F sharp, G. One more time. C, E flat, F, F sharp, G. So a good warm-up is to just remind yourself. And then back again. And then you can do it, get your fingers warmed up. Maybe do it a, not super fast, but maybe. second do a few of those okay so the first little lick is going back and forth between the E flat and the C you should be able to you'll recognize this sound it's a very common one so um, a lot of times you'll hear it in in pairs like okay and you'll notice that in blues, there's always this long short, this uneven, that's called the swing, and that's pretty universal in blues and jazz. Okay, so just back and forth. A lot of times in improvisation, you know, that might, a few of those might be strung together. Just one, maybe a few more than two. And just kind of get it under your fingers again. Okay, another one is you'll hear this is what it is. So, one more time it's F sharp, G, E flat. C. So you're using all of them except that middle one. So you're starting F sharp, G, E flat, C. Try that out. Another common sound. Try that a few more times. Okay. Now here's one. I'm going to combine the first two and you can kind of hear the beginnings of, you know, some, a good little uh, improvisation. time and combining the, the first one with the second with two of these and do it one more time so I'll give you a minute to do those Okay, so you notice that when I did this, I put a little pause in between. That's very common too. Um, you don't have to, when you're improv imp improvising, you don't have to be uh, constantly playing notes. Okay, another one. is using starting at the F sharp going to the F E flat okay 
this. So long, short, long, short. time. All right, and again, you can put those together. Like I'll put the first and then this one together. Okay, so time first one okay I'll give you a minute to try that And then you could also try putting two notes together. Something as simple as that. These two, so instead of separately, you're going and then that at the end. And then you could also do these two together so, so it's very similar to the other one. I'm just adding a little more sound. So I press these two down first, and then give you time to do that again. So these two. G, E flat, C. Okay. Another one. Again, there's infinite combinations. I'm going to start here. Okay, so just starting here, second one, E flat, F, F sharp, G. And again, that long, short, long, short. And then again, long, short, long, short. So you kind of lean into the long, short, long, Here's another one. Um, starting here. Okay, so I'm just using these. Okay, so you notice <clears throat> I didn't quite do the long short here because these were spaced a little further apart, the first two. Time to do that one again. G, G, E flat, C. So that's probably enough for now. When you're playing along with the backing track, I encourage you to try different sounds, experiment, put uh, these together, different combinations. And go with um, sounds you like. If you notice that you like a certain 
sound. Just use it again. And sometimes, you know, you find something you don't like. And the good thing about improv is, you know, if you don't like what you played, you just move on to another note. All right, I hope that helped. And I'll see you next week.